So let's do example four. Uh, here we're going to use Kramer's rule to for a three by three system. Uh, we're going to have your system of equations right here. And if you notice, I already made our D matrix where you just use your four, two, five, nay one, two, nay two, one, three, six. We get those written out. Now we need to find your D sub X, D sub Y, and D sub Z. And so when you find those, remember if you're trying to find D sub X, you're going to take out the D sub X row and in its place, you're going to plug in your constants. So 12, 1, 22. Down here for D sub Y, you're going to take out your Y column and you're going to plug in your 12, 1, 22. And then for D sub Z, you take out your Z's and we plug in a 12, 1, and 22. So then if you find your determinants, remember you can use a calculator to find out these if you don't want to do them by hand, which if you have a three by three, I would recommend. And when you do that, D ends up just being a five, or sorry, 55. D sub X is a 110. D sub Y is a negative 165. And D sub Z ends up being a 55. So in order to find out what your x, y, and z are, x is just d sub x over d. So we're going to take your d sub x, which is 55. Oh, sorry, d sub x, which is 110. We're going to divide that by 55. That gives you x equals 2. So then for y, that's just d sub y divided by d, which ends up giving you a negative 165 divided by 55. These are all coming out so nice and pretty. So you get y is equal to a negative three. And z, as you might have guessed, is d sub z all over d. So that gives you a 55 divided by 55, which gives you z is equal to a one. So you have all of your values here. So your ordered triple is a two, negative three, and a one.